Hello everyone, I'm Mac here and today we're going to be playing the Metroid Dread demo. I had already recorded this one, but it turns out I didn't record any commentary. I'm new to this, so bear a little bit with me. In any case, yep, this is the Metroid Dread demo. Metroid, a Metroid, a viral and floating organism that drains the energy from its spray through physical contact. I think that should say, that should say drains the energy from its spray? Oh, maybe it's talking it past then because they're supposed to be extinct. Okay, Metroid were generated by the Chosen and named after their work for Ultimate Warrior. The values as a bioweapon sparked several crisis, and as a result, all traces of them have been eliminated. They are now extinct. And then it's the Exparasite. Exparasite, a gelatinous parasitic organism indigenous to the planet SR388. That's where Samus gets infected with the X. It corrupts all the DNA of the host, living or dead, and replicates from when infecting living host. It even access the host's memories, experts that were driven not by emotion but by instinct need to replicate and spread an increasingly stronger host. I read that completely wrong. <clears throat> their ability to be controlled marked them as even more dangerous than their so predator, the Metroid. Like the Metroid, they are believed extinct. Yeah, so, uh, this is the Metrofusion Rika part. Metrofusion was my first Metroid game. Even though I've been gaming since like probably 92? No, maybe 93, 94? With no Metro surviving SR 388, it became infested with the X horrifying parasites capable of imitating any living being. Unaware of this, I set foot on the planet, got infected, and almost died. Yeah, this is, a, this is the retelling part of Metro Fusion. I think this is a, a direct sequel to Metro Fusion. And there's the Metrofusion suit. Looks kind of different, actually. And this isn't Samus normal oh, ship. I think this is a Federation ship that was given to her because her ship would crash during the, uh, the first part of the Metrofusion event. In any case, the only thing that saved me was the vaccine creator for Metro DNA. Now Samus is part Metroid. Which also left me uniquely able to both the X. This ability was tested immediately when I went to the Biology Spatial Laboratories, BSL, research station to investigate the stress signal. And we fought all of these guys, especially SAX, which is Samus Aran X. And we exploded the place, crashed, crashed the planet with the bottle ship. I mean, the research station, the bottle ship is another game. There, I battle many powerful X forms, including the SAX, which was the X mimicking me, and my, and my power to the full strength. I eventually eliminate the X menace on SR388 by sending the BSL research station a collision course with the planet. Yeah, this is explaining exactly what I was explaining. After that, the X and Metroids were just memories, or so we thought. Just when it seemed over, the Galactic Federation received a mysterious video, tr video transmission. And it's an X parasite. Also, the Galactic Federation logo on the lower left. It show an X alive and in the wild. This couldn't be a trap. No, never. Through analysis proved the video was real. Although the sender was unknown, the transmission was traced to a particular planet. And now we're going there because we're the only one capable of doing anything. It was called CDR. If the X had somehow escaped extinction, they would be pose they would pose a threat to the entire galaxy. The Galactic Federation dispatched a research team for seven Emmy to investigate. For an Emmy? Well they're going to explain that right now. An Emmy is a large research robot designed to capture field samples and extract their DNA. Their incredible mobility and protective plating made of the strongest stuff in the universe practically guaranteed the mission's success. Okay, but why do you need a super powerful robot to extract samples? Why? But not long after they arrived the on CDR, all communication was lost.
This design looks weird to me for some reason. The helmet, especially. What is happening in CDR? Is the plan really infested with X? Uh, the only one immune to the parasites up to me to go there and find out. Okay, so basically that was a retelling of Metro Fusion. Metro Fusion was actually my first Metroid game. Uh, yeah, the first time I saw Samus was on Super Smash Bros. actually. Didn't even really know it was a she until much later. Well, actually, I think someone told me that someone was she. Or maybe I read it somewhere. Oh, in any case. So, you know. Whatever the bounty is, will never be appropriate for the threat the X are. Yep. You said it, Adam. Treat our lost assets with care. Okay, I, I'm guessing Adam still works for the Federation since it says our lost assets and the, the MER. Operation machines. Wait, but at this point, Adam doesn't know that the MER are going rogue, so why? Right, and without any explanation? Or thrown away. I mean, our suit changed, so. They probably pulled a Metroid on us. Look, well, it's a Metroid game after all. In any case, that looks like a Chosun in a power suit. That elevator leads to the depths of an underground facility. You could have at least let us use the elevator ourselves. Remote communication remains. Try to connect to the facility's network when you reach the bottom. That way, they can be in contact. Any objections, lady? Any objections, lady? Alright. We made it to the bottom of the elevator. So, what's here? There's a chasa, and the first thing we do is. Many suit with the Ram Cannon. No diplomacy, and it affects her, so I guess it's alright. Mr. Choso. Don't you recognize your own weapons? Wouldn't you think to? Well, maybe it's not the actual Choso, but some kind of uh, defensive vestige or. Not an actual Choso, but uh, something left behind to protect the place. But why would it do this? I mean, surely he wants to kill Samus, doesn't he? But the only thing he does is remove our powers. So what's up with that? I mean,. The first time you saw it, I thought, okay, this is an okay explanation of what happened, but now that you think about it, why wouldn't the thing just kill Samus out, right? Why would you do that? Well, maybe there's an explanation later in the game that there's some reason why they want to extract their powers from us. But in any case, here we are. We can't go there. Normally, Metroid games start going to the left, but... This one starts going to the right. There's a few enemies here, and you can stand your ground with L. Oh, I had a note there to miss this amount. You can slide with uh, the left C button. 
and you can you can wall jump. Funny thing about the wall jump is the first time I played this, I thought that you had to pull the the control stick so you could wall jump, but it's actually very very it's not that at all. It's actually very easy to wall jump in this game. You just have to tap the button. Like you don't have to press any direction. So you just go boop 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 boop. And that's it. I know you have to break those and grab and yeah, but I don't care about that. Okay, let's go. Alright, and more cutscenes. Because it can't be a more game without cutscenes. And without someone explaining in exactly what happened. Uploading data. So Adam is going to tell us exactly what we just so experienced. Access the network station. Well done, Samus. I have reviewed your vital signs and video log from the data you uploaded. I've run a full analysis. But I cannot account for why you lost consciousness. My readings indicate dramatic physical changes in you. Whatever caused these okay. changes seems to have stripped you of most abilities. You might call it physical amnesia. Or you can call it pulling a trade on us. That brings me to your assailant. I am checking the Federation database against your video log. It appears to have been a chozo. The attacker's identity is not yet clear. Yeah, I thought so. That you are somewhere within the depths of CPR. You don't say. Our priority should be to return to your ship on the surface. This situation is precarious. Trust your instincts as you navigate upward. Trust your instincts. Never give up. This planet appears to consist of multiple areas. Shuttles, elevators, and other modes of transport connect them. Keep an eye out for ways to reach the surface. Yep. That'll do. Is marked on your global or map. I will. Check it for yourself. I will do. Yeah, just that the trip location is not going to blow up. Check you it for yourself. You may pockets of low temperature. Your Metroid DNA renders you vulnerable to such environments. Spending time in cold areas will be harmful to you. Yeah, I could have guessed that if I went into a cold area and started taking damage. There are many such cold areas scattered underground. Do not enter them with your basic power suit. One final thing. Yeah, you can actually enter them, and if it's short enough, you can go through it. Check in with me at any network stations you find. Okay. Basically, if we want to talk to you, we have to go to the navigation room. Well, it's not a navigation room per se, exactly, but it serves the same purpose. This enemy requires a melee counter. I had a lot of issues trying to perform the melee counter, but I, I'm kind of getting to it not really. I forget. But you don't really... At least in the demo you don't really need it that much, just in this first area. New tutorial. If an area on the map is blinking, it indicates that a hidden item is nearby. Yeah, there's some missiles in here. But in this game, if you break up uh, walls, sometimes stuff like this happens. Now I'm trapped and I have to go this way. Why anyway, would I want it to go that way? Oh, I couldn't go that way anyway because it was blocked. And then it's this room. There's nothing you can do. I have tried a bit but nope you have to go through here you know one thing that, that, that kind of spoiled a lot of this game was the traders and the heavy emphasis on the ends so i don't i can't really find them that scary anymore oh when they spot me they're kind of scary but not really Especially since uh, it's an instant death, and what can you do? If you have to counter them, you have to press X on the 
that moment, pretty sure there will be people that will get really, really good at it and maybe abuse it some way. But kind of hard. To... Also, this one's pretty, pretty dead. Pretty damaged. I wonder what caused the damage because not only is he is damaged, but what would be a boss right now? His core, I think it's called. It's also damaged. Also, what are those things anyway? Are they enemies? And why is this core damaged? And why Dutch can't get me a new arm cannon? Well, this is the. I forget what they call this officially. Okay, this is this. Okay, the central unit is the boss. That's already dead. And the arm cannon is the Omega Cannon or the Plot Cannon because it does plot things like killing the enemy and opening the door. Okay. Since this was severely damaged already, I'm going to do that and he dies. I'm not sure his future enemies uh, actually can be they to take more damage or something because the second one also just requires one shot, but you have to break his shield first. And now that the blood cannon has served its purpose, it's gone. Yeah, you can only use it to kill the enemy and then it's gone. So, coming up next is, I think, okay, that's a save room, uh, you can't use save rooms in the demo, so there's nothing to do there. And, okay, this is Emmy door. After you go in, you're in Emmy area. There's an Emmy around. The first time. I didn't notice that we went through this door, so I was like, wait, am I in an enemy area? How did I get here? But yeah, this is an, this is an area where enemies going around and have to avoid it. You can really avoid it the first time, because, well, he's waiting there for you. Of this cutscene. And I wish they would have stopped this cutscene right here because uh, I wish I could have played this part. Just let me run and slide. Uh, we're going to be doing this anyway, like a lot, but it would have been nice to cut the uh, cutscene short. In any case, I don't think this enemy stopped chasing you even if you go really really far away from it. I think it's uh, scripted. You just have to just go here and I'm not sure if you really need to duck. I duck just for... For um... Well no, there's no reason not to... Not, there is no reason not to duck. These doors close themselves when you get near, so nothing you can do there. And we get a missile expansion here. Free one. But one thing that I've noticed is that missile expansions get very little amount of missiles, so they usually give two. And there's also something called an energy. It's it's like a piece of energy tank, something like a piece of art in Zelda. You need to collect four to get one extra tank. They may have been hacked. If so, it's reasonable to assume all enemy will be possible. Emmy sent out a to pack the enemies operations in the air within a certain range. Essentially, they can hear you. Yep, yeah, th this is something that doesn't make sense because if you use a missile to try to distract them, they won't go for the missile, even though the missile makes a lot of noise. Upon detecting vibrations, an enemy enters surveillance to track their source, stay out of its line of sight when this happens, otherwise the danger to you increases dramatically. Yeah, if they see you, they chase you, and they close the doors around them.
This is another thing that I don't understand, maybe it's explained later, but why are the enemies of constrained to an area if they are Federation uh, Federation robots? Uh, to survive, you must leave its range of pursuit. If a DME and it will disengage, this will also unseal the exits. Yeah, could, you could have figured out by, by playing the game. You, this is tutorial is kind of necessary. Yeah, we can only operate in that range if the Federation thinks and we're in the Choso area. Yeah, you're pretty much dead if you get captured by an enemy. Yeah. It's very, very hard to do. First time I played the demo, I got caught like three times and I wasn't able to to counter it in, in any of those three times. Yep, you need to, the plot cannon in order to defeat the enemies. So, high priority should be simply move to survive. Similar to Metro Fusion, you can't do anything about the enemies right now. Wait, that's from where I come from, so this is where I go to. There's kind of a lot of destructible environment around here. I really like that. At the same time, it's sometimes not very... Um, it's not very uh, obvious where you have to go. There should be an enemy around here. Yeah. Oh. Detected me. I was hoping it wouldn't detect me. Because it's sometimes kind of hard to get away from it. Oh no, I think it's scripted. Not sure. Wait, wait, wait. Oh yeah, this is the exit. Okay. Once you reach the exit, the enemy, the enemy is trapped there. It, it can't follow you outside of, of the of the enemy zone. So if you're not feeling it, just look for a door and get out. This is a safe point. No, uh, they have no use in the demo. So okay. I don't think you can get that missile by jumping or nope. You have to go around. Okay, in any case, uh, you have to lower the water here. Oh yeah, these things can be killed by uh, via missiles. It's faster because if you start shooting them, it takes a really long time just to shoot them. And now that we've drained the water. And go here and yeah, get up this ledge. Usually you wouldn't be able to because when it's filled with water, you can up, oh, you can jump that high. And I really like the light in this room. Pretty sure it's supposed to mean something. Uh, not sure what. So we get the map data. Okay, I've already downloaded. Not really necessary, but do we have? Yes. Okay. Oh, I almost got hit there. Okay, I think there's some mishap. Ah, oh, yeah, there there's some mishap right here. Oh, I all uh, I almost didn't get that. You get the missile and get back. And back to the emissal. Okay. Oh, yeah, I remember this today. I'm sure I got what those guys are. No, oh. 
It's on me, it's on me, it's on me. No. I wasn't thinking clearly, I wasn't thinking out of life, really. I think I'm gonna sleepy. I wanted to... I recorded this... Like... I, I had troubles with the previous recording and I'm kinda tired right now, but... Well, doesn't matter. Alright. We're out of the Amazon and now we have to look for... Oh yeah. Do you see the, the, the cold effect right here? If we go through there or there's a cold... I think I'm not sure, but I could try. I think you get like you, you take like 20 damage per second. I'm going to try anyway. You can go here. Oops. There's an energy tank part. I don't think you can you can grab there, but it's cold and that area is really really big, so you can't really do anything. Just get that energy tank part and get back. I guess for demo's completion sake, it's alright, but there is really no point since there's not enough. Um, there's not enough. Uh, Energy tank parts that you can get a complete energy tank. In any case, we come right up here and we get a new weapon. Charge beam. Oh, check. Technically, it's not a new weapon, but we get the charge beam. Which is uh, my favorite weapon in natural games. No, oh, it's it, it's really fun to use charge Now we back at the start and we can kill this thing easily now. Alright. We can kill this guy easily as well. And we can open these doors and there's a full energy attack here. Alright. Hundred energy. That's going to help quite a lot. One thing that I've noticed is that the um, the the missile tanks are very very small in this game, and the since there are energy parts now, that means that your maximum energy is probably not really that high compared to, for example. Uh, Metro Fusion, which in which you had like I think almost two thousand energy, maybe more. And in this game, you have much, much, much less energy. I don't think you can get that right now. Now for the boss of this demo. I forgot its name. It's something like a central unit, I believe. One that gives the, the blood cannon. Oh, where am I going? Okay, first of all, we have to find a way. Oh, it sends me. I think we can get away even if it sends us. Yeah. Is this the way I want to go? Yeah, yeah, this is the way. This is the way. Oh. Something passed through there. I remember not noticing that the first time. But I 
did notice it the uh, last time and this time. And this um, uh, this blocks kind of kind of hate him because the first time it, it took me a while to realize that you could break those. There's no real indication. Okay, what am I doing? I think I'm kind of half asleep. I'm just going to, yeah, do some miscellaneous. Okay, goodbye, goodbye. Okay, if you're wondering what those two doors are, they are high heat areas. Uh, you take damage if you go in there, so avoid them. I hit the ball instead of hitting the, the enemy. Right, and now we get to the door, color coded doors. If you remember, if you played Metroid Fusion, there were several doors that, doors that you would activate them by going to some secret rooms. Oh, this is kind of like that. So these thermal doors take a little while to open. So if you if they are in an enemy room and the enemy is chasing you then it might trap you, it might get you because, well... Oh, wait, just a second. Yeah, I figured. Oh, what am I doing? Okay. I just wanna breathe. Read the second. Let me throw. Okay, now for more Adam obvious stuff. There is no record of your assailant in the Federation database. However, there are records of Vitrozo Warrior Tron. There is a strong possibility that you are connected. Yeah, he looked like it. Chose, so I'm guessing he has gonna choose artifacts on this planet. I conclude that this was one of their settlements. But why would someone leave you here and send the enemy after you? The footage of the ex parasite may have been staged to lure you in. Yeah, and not, and not only that, but how did they know the desperation would send the enemy? The situation remains unclear, but your priority hasn't changed. You must return to the ship. You yep. have activated the magma supply system that has restored power to the closed thermal doors. Seek them out to proceed. All right, let's go. Continue to search for the unique energy you employed against the first enemy. It is the only way you can confront them. You don't have to tell me that twice. Energy is limited. You may have noticed it dissipating after an enemy is destroyed. Yep. There are six remaining enemy hunting you. You have no means to confront them. Remember That's what I call it, the plot cannon. It does blood related stuff and then it goes away. Serves no gameplay purpose. Oh, I should recharge my energy actually. I took a lot of damage to this silly stuff. Right, so there's an enemy here. I think if you do this quickly, it won't notice you. Yep. I could have gone up there, I think. Okay, I think this is the way. Yes. And boss time. The first time I had a kind of hard time with the boss because I thought I wasn't actually damaging it. But it. Uh, well, the damage flashes on this game are really weird, I think. It's, it's sometimes unclear if you're damaging the boss. It, it's clear when it's already it, it already doesn't have its armor, but when it has the armor, it's clear if you're damaging it. Not clear if you're damaging it or not. I thought I was only pushing it the first time. 
so I had to charge my charge beam quite a lot and but then I discovered that yeah the missiles harm him it's just that it's not conveyed very well all right so we get another ability for our cannon we, instead of charging it you can just shoot it and that destroys the shield so if you notice that the other enemy has a shield well we can break it with this cannon pretty convenient if you think about it because if we would have to fight an enemy with a shield the first time well we wouldn't have the okay, i'm going to open this door and i'm going to start shooting because i know the enemy comes around here you think yeah there he, there it comes Imagine if we didn't have this, and this was the first time we were fighting. That way, it's the plot cannon. Emmy dies, plot cannon goes away. Uh, but for some reason, this Emmy has an ability for us. We should just explain why. At least with the ex parasite, we know that the parasite. Uh, can absorb certain powers so we can absorb them back well we get the spider magnet and the spider magnet is you can cling to walls and ceilings that have this blue hue and it's a mostly exploratory ability Not really combat oriented can Can go here and do you see the arrows behind there? Well, they when something moves, those arrows show you that it moves. Okay, here's something fun about this place. Oh, wait, I have missiles. Oops, this guys give a lot of missiles. Okay, in any case, not sure if this if it's possible, but you can kind of jump. If you jump at the very edge, you can do this, but I don't think you can get to the other ledge. You may be able to, but haven't been... Well, I tried it for a bit, and I don't quite think it's possible, but it might be. Just something to think about. And the first time I played it, this, I had a lot of issues with this room. Actually, since, well, this one's clearly breakable, right? And then I thought, well, there must be a way that I can go through here. But you can't. And, well, it turns out, well, you can break this. And it's not 100% clear that you can do so. So, what gives? In any case, uh, it took me quite a while to to see that all these blocks were breakable. I went around. I even I went around here. I got this missile. Uh, There's some missile. Okay, I got this missile. And that's also how I discovered that you can go through here, and uh, this area is not cold, so you can get this energy part. This part is cold, and also this part is cold, so if I recall correctly, both these parts are cold, or, or was it just this part is cold, I don't remember, but I didn't have enough energy to go through here. And yeah, I went around the map and lost a lot of time. Just, I was right about to end, because this is the end of the demo, and then I went and backtracked and did a little going around the map, because I couldn't find it out that these ones are breakable. In any case, that's it for the Metroid Dread demo. I'm going to get the game soon, so I can do a full playthrough. Um, thank you for watching, and have a nice day.